hello guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well just sat having my iced coffee while i get ready it's still a little bit dark outside it's quite early in the morning um so yeah this is definitely needed to wake me up i always get messages whenever i show like these glasses on like my instagram or wherever um they're from what's the brand called it's dolls however you pronounce that I basically get them from this website it's the only way I could describe it is it's a bit like the ASOS but for glasses every single like type of glass you could want style of glass that you want they do them in like collections they have everything on there if I can remember what the website's called I'll link it in the description box but I literally got four of these they're not like special glasses they're literally just like water tumblers that you just have on like the dinner table but I love having my iced coffee out of them so I literally got four of those. I got four of like the wine glasses that match uh, the white wine glasses, the red wine glasses, and then I also got some gin glasses. Um, and they're not like overly expensive either, but yeah, they do really nice glasses. So I'll try and remember where they're, what the website's called and I'll pop it in the description box. I popped my light on as well this morning because as I said, it's still a bit dark. So if I look a bit ooh, washed out, I've got the massive light on in front of me so that I can actually see what I'm doing. But I am getting ready because as you will have already seen from the title of this vlog i'm actually heading down to london i've got a couple of meetings one of the meetings um, i was actually supposed to go to last week and it never ended up happening so i am basically heading down to meet with h and um, to have a look around their showroom i went to their showroom not in the most recent vlogmas but the year before in that vlogmas and their showroom is essentially like a little sneak preview of like what's going to be coming up in H&M soon. And I know lots of you like like you know my H&M hauls and things like that. So I thought it'd be quite a fun little day to vlog. So yeah, that's one of my meetings. I'm just going to start doing my makeup by the way. I will film like a more in-depth makeup tutorial, but I'll do it in like a separate video, but just to let you know, I'm just putting on some Bobbi Brown vitamin enrich face base but yeah as i said i was supposed to actually go down last week but because of the rail strikes and all of that stuff it just couldn't happen um my train was so like my train was cancelled then another one was delayed and it just wouldn't have been able to happen but i thought while i'm down there i thought you know what i might as well have a little look around the shops obviously i'm going to the h&m showroom so i can show you around there but I thought, you know what, I think I might pop into Zara because Zara on their website at the minute, I'm just not feeling anything. And um, sometimes it takes going into a shop, I feel. Particularly, I want to go to the Zara store in um, Sloan Square just because I've heard so many um, like good reviews about it. I think it's just supposed to be a really nice Zara. And I've not been to that one. I think it's near, um, it's not too far from Harrods. Um, so yeah, I think I want to go to that one. So yeah, I just thought I'd film a little sort of come shop with me, just to spend the day with me. Let's go and have a look around Zara H&M and yeah, I'll take you down to London with me. Just going to pop on my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, if my hair would stay out of the way. It's also hair wash day and my hair is just, oh, it's not playing ball. So I think I'm actually going to have to put it up. To be honest, I'd rather put it up. I prefer putting my hair up when I go to London because, you know, from like going from the overground to the underground on the tube, it's windy, it's cold, my hair blowing everywhere. Oh, when I'm shopping anyway, I like all my hair just to be off my face out of my way but anyway i am going to crack on with this makeup do my hair and then yeah let's um catch up once this is done because i don't want to make myself late by taking my time and chatting while i'm doing this no offense guys but yeah i'll catch up with you when i'm done okay all ready to go and as you can see the sun has come out the sun is shining it's a lovely sunny frosty day so let me quickly show you my outfit and then we'll head to the train station i decided to go for a very sassy all black look today so i am wearing my h&m black it's like their mohair jumper one of my favorites from them love it so much um my naked fashion faux leather trousers which i adore got my Fendi black ankle boots on. My coat is also from Naked Fashion, just gorgeous long double breasted black coat. And then I'm taking my trusty black coach bag because I'm obviously taking my vlogging camera today and it's a great bag to fit all of your stuff in. But yeah, that's my outfit for going down to London today. So I am 
gonna head to the train station. Just on the way to the train station, Andy's very kindly uh, offered to drive me in. So I'm getting chauffeured to the station now. Hopefully there's no delays today. As I said, I was meant to go down last week but it was just an absolute nightmare. So it didn't end up happening. So I'm hoping I can just get there. I'm not late for once. I'm arriving in good time. I've actually got time to grab myself like a nice Costa. I can enjoy a nice leisurely walk to the platform and not be sprinting and sweating. So I'm excited for that. Andy's obviously here. <laughs> Hello. He was, um, he was very happy with all your lovely comments about the dressing room, weren't you? I haven't seen them. You have seen them. I'd love to send some more. Oh, you'll have to send him some more, guys. I was reading them out to him. It was very, it's very chuffed, weren't you? Well... A few people have said they want to book you in to do theirs. <laughs> so I think we might have to start a handy Andy side hustle on YouTube. Is he doing your <laughs> I've, I've already tasks? I've already told them I've got you booked in for the rest of the year, so it's going to have to be 2024 now, guys. His 2023 dates, he's fully booked. Yeah. But, um, yeah, he did a very good job of the dressing room. Had a nice morning getting ready in there this morning it's very nice are you going to treat yourself one day and get yourself ready in there? <laughs> it's really nice but yeah guys i am going to grab myself is it it's east costa at this station isn't it yeah oh, i don't have starbucks grab myself a cheeky little costa why is it cheeky i don't know why it's cheeky no, everything's it's not. Don't, don't say that why is it what it's not why is it not cheeky it's not cheeky it's cheeky Whoop. no cheeky Whoop. It's like cheeky Nando's. No, it's never it's cheeky. a cheeky. It's just a Nando's. Cheeky. Why can't it be cheeky? Oh, I've been there. Oh, I'm gonna grab myself a sassy Costa. See you in a bit. <laughs> Guys, I arrived in London and I'm doing a voiceover just because there's always such loud music playing in the shops and I will get a copyright strike. So here I am going into the Sloan Square Zara store. It was really, really nice in there. So first up, I spotted these trousers. I just love the design of them. I thought these would be a really nice pair of like more formal trousers. So I did pick them up to take them to the changing room. And then just look how nice this rack looks. How nice is that? Um, but yeah, I picked up this grey, it was like a cashmere um, sweater, quite a thin knit, but I thought going into spring it would be quite nice, so I took that to the changing room. And then I also spotted this cream cohort set. So the trousers were like these wide leg knitted trousers, and then they also had the matching top, which was kind of like a turtleneck with short sleeves, but I just thought it looked really, really nice. So yeah, I decided to pick those up as well to take to changing rooms. There was honestly so much stuff in this Zara that I could have bought. Like honestly, the coats, the jackets, how stunning is this teddy coat? They also had some of like their new kind of spring stuff in, some really nice cohorts, lots of navy I was also noticing, which I think is going to be quite a big colour, obviously. Oh my gosh, this grey bomber jacket, so stunning. I think it was quite pricey, I think it was about £100 if I remember right, but it was just so, so gorgeous. They didn't have my size in store, annoyingly, but yeah, just had to show it you because it was so nice. And then I also spotted the viral Zara gilet that everyone has got. So obviously I needed just to try this on. I wasn't gonna buy it just because I feel like it's kind of had its time for me personally. But yeah, I did wanna try it on. Did really like it, but I just know me personally, I wouldn't get the wear out of it. But yeah, I did really like how it looked on, to be honest. I also spotted this little bag. How lovely would this be for the summertime? I love the material of it. I loved the colour. I just think this would go with so many cute, like, summery outfits. Brilliant size as well. Just very cute. Again, just look at this rack. It's so tidy. It was making me really happy, and I really loved this jumper. They also had a lot of shackets, but I was noticing a lot of the shackets were cropped, so definitely sort of gearing into more sort of spring summer vibes and then oh my gosh look at this camel coat this is giving me such maximara vibes 
it was such a nice quality gorgeous color 149 pounds so not cheap for zara but i think the quality speaks for itself on this definitely worth the money in my opinion they also had these boots underneath oh my gosh i was so tempted to pick these up kind of regretting not getting these now but so lush honestly just the selection of coats was just to die for i really wanted to not buy any more coats because i know i have enough but this aviator oh so gorgeous and this bag so nice and then they also had this really cute section for like the lingerie and pajamas it was just off to the side of everything and it was just so so nice I loved these pyjamas. They had them in like this dark navy blue, just like a shirt and the trousers to match. And they also had some um, in like a lighter blue that you can just see behind them. But yeah, I just really like this section in Zara. And then they also had these great just basic bodysuits. They had a lot of basics, but I did really like these bodysuits. They had them in various colours. As you can see, they had the grey, the white, the white one I did actually pick up, but they also had just, you know, black, nude. They also had a gorgeous, like, dark green. I can't actually explain how much I could have picked up in this Zara. It was just really, really, really good. Look at these Chloe dupe boots. And then, oh my God, guys, I'm so happy, but platforms are back platforms are back i love a platform give me a big chunky ugly shoe these just had my heart really regretting not picking these up now and then this little bomber jacket just did something to me i think this will look so nice with like anything high-waisted i had to pick this up to try it on and also this set, oh my God, dark navy blue pinstripe trousers with the waistcoat to match. Had to pick these up and try them on. They also had loads of jeans in this Zara. Now I wasn't on the lookout for jeans, but if you are, definitely pay this Zara a visit. They had so many in store. And then this knitted set I also really liked. The loungewear was really good. So they had lots of sets with like the matching tops. Really, really good selection here. They also had like sweaters with like the matching skirts in all like nice neutral colours. They had so much of that sort of stuff in. And then while I was here, I decided just to have a little browse around the Zara home. Um, again, I didn't actually pick anything up, but I did like having a nice, you know, little browse loved these like rustic looking lamps they had some great coffee table books and um, they had lovely like wool um like throws they did have some really cute things and also something else that was really really nice that i hadn't really paid attention to before in zara was their glassware their glasses were so so cute look at these new ones really really nice And then heading into the changing room. So I picked up these grey trousers to try on. Loved the fit around my waist. Loved the material. Loved the style. Think these would be great for work. Only critique is they were a little bit short for me. I am five foot eight, so fairly tallish. But as you can see with my boots, I would have just liked them to be at least like two to three inches longer. And then the grey cashmere sweater. Nothing bad to say about this. Loved the fit of this and I bought it. I thought it was lovely. And then the cream two-piece set. This was so, so nice. I felt so cute in this. However, I think this is definitely more of an at-home set because as you can see, you can see my dark underwear on the bottoms. But, um, but the top wasn't see-through at all. I popped it on with my leather trousers and think this would make a lovely top for just in the daytime as well, not just at home. And then the bomber jacket. This was probably my favourite purchase. So, so gorgeous. Just love this so much. I'll pick this up. I think this is a medium. And then the pinstripe set. This was my favourite like to look at, but they just didn't have my size in store. So these trousers are a size small, but look how loose around the waist they are. They are supposed to be high-waisted, so 
a bit disappointed in that. And then the top, they only had a medium, which was much too big for me. I do not have the chest to support that this size of a uh, top on me. I would have needed probably an extra small. So yeah, a bit disappointed about that because I did really want to grab this. So it's probably going to be an online purchase. And then I also got this dark green loungewear set. I just love the colour, to be honest, and I love a loungewear set. So, yeah, thought this was super nice. And that was it, guys. I grabbed myself a bit of lunch and then I headed off over to H&M. Okay, guys, so I'm now at the H&M showroom where I'm getting a little sneak peek at some of the new pieces that are going to be on, um, on H&M very soon. So I'm going to quickly show you around and then, yeah, we're going to have a little close look at some of the nice pieces. Um, I'm going to try and speak, but I might have to do a voiceover just because there is some music playing and I don't want to get copyrighted, so yeah. God, guys these sunglasses I've just had to put these on look at the shape of these I'm sorry but these literally remind me of a pair of Fendi glasses that I really really liked how gorgeous are these oh my gosh these are just unreal so in love with these I'm now back home it's very dark outside oh honestly is anyone else just really over these dark winter nights now like oh, I just want it to be light until eight o'clock and then I'm happy anyway I um have got back obviously and I thought I would quickly show you oh, I can hear the dogs excuse me oh my gosh oh my gosh you've got two two mad dogs <laughs> I thought I'd quickly show you what I got today. Um, I know the lighting isn't great, but there's not much I can do about that. And to be honest, everything that I'm going to show you, you will have seen today and you will have seen me try on. But yeah, I just thought I'd quickly show you what I got. Shall we start with Zara? Because I did go there first. So, nice big full bag from Zara. So first of all, I picked up this loungewear set. I knew you'd come and have to sit with me to do this. Anyway, I picked up this loungewear set, the dark green one. It probably looks black now with this light, but it's this gorgeous dark green. Um, so nice. I just stuck true to size and got a size small. It was $29.99. So that is the jumper part. And then the bottoms are wide leg joggers, which I think I said in my last video that... I'm really, really preferring wide leg joggers now because I just feel like they look, because they look more like a trouser, they just look, they, you can almost make them look a little bit more formal and a little bit more, like a more put together outfit, if that makes sense, rather than just your standard tracksuit bottoms that you just shove on. So yeah, I've been really, really loving wide leg joggers recently. So yeah, dark green to match the top, size small again. Um, yeah, I just loved this as a set because I am someone that works from home. I like to have comfortable loungewear, but also stuff that, you know, if I need to go and answer the door to the postman, I don't look like I'm just in my slobby clothes. I kind of look like, oh, she's actually got dressed for the day instead of just wearing pyjamas to sit and edit my videos. So I got that. I also decided to get the navy blue cropped bomber jacket because I... There was just something about the fit of this that I really loved. And I know I go on and on and on that I love my oversized coats, my oversized jackets, and I do. But 
I don't actually have any like cropped fitted jackets just for a different look you know and I think going into I know it's still too early but when we are sort of going into spring it's nice to have that more cropped um jacket I think to show off your silhouette a little bit more I just think this with anything high-waisted is gonna look incredible um I loved how it looked just with my high-waisted like leather trousers that I was wearing today um but I have a Ma a denim maxi skirt coming from mango that i ordered i've been trying to get it for about a month now it's been out of stock i finally managed to get it that should be here this week and i've just got this vision of that with this cropped bomber jacket oh, it's gonna be lovely picked up the denim jacket the denim the bomber jacket in a size uh medium because i did look at the small but the small looked uber small so yeah Got that in a medium. I also grabbed just um, really basic, just a plain white long sleeved bodysuit um, in this really nice, um, just really nice material to be honest. I've got like a ribbed one from Zara last year. To be completely honest, it's gone a little bit grey. You know how whites can go grey after a while? Um, it just looks a bit dull and a bit, you can just tell it's been in the wash a fair few times. Do you know what I mean? So I just wanted a fresh nice white bodysuit i just wear this underneath so many outfits so many things so yeah i just decided to get me a nice little fresh one size small lovely they had them in so many colors as well um i think if i like um i didn't actually try that on because it's just a standard bodysuit but i think i may end up getting a couple more in a couple more colors if the fit of that is really nice and then i could not leave this guys i know it's another like loungewear set but i think you'll agree it's a slightly more like elevated loungewear set i got the cream set so the high neck like turtleneck top with the kind of like cropped sleeves and then the gorgeous cream wide leg trousers to match i just think that as an outfit is so so stunning and it is the kind of outfit you could just chuck a big coat on and you know a, a pair of comfy shoes and go and run errands in it and you just look really put together it's just so lovely and I think the price point of it was really, really good. The top was only $22.99, which I thought was so good. I think the bottoms were the same. No, sorry, $25.99, um, size small in both. Do you like them? <laughs> Do you approve? I feel like if you were a human, this, would, this outfit would be you. I think that would be a very you outfit, my sweetheart. And then I did also decide to get the grey um, cashmere jumper. More of, um, I'd say, transitional, like, spring piece, to be honest. I have got a lot of knitwear, I'm not going to lie. I've got a lot of jumpers, but I just, I wear so, I wear jumpers literally every day. But this is just a nice, thinner knit, thinner alternative. This will look really nice over a shirt, even just over the um, like white, over the white bodysuit with nice trousers. Very, very basic, but very, very wearable, which is my cup of tea. And then finally from Zara, I did just pick up um, a black beanie hat because the Zara like wool blend um, beanie hats are honestly the best. I've got them, in, I've got the cream, it's like the beigey cream color of this and it fits so nice doesn't look really tight on your head it'll make you look like a burglar they're just the best fitting for me so and i don't have a black one the only black beanie i've got it's so tight and small that i literally look like i've got a condom on my head it's not nice at all not flattering so i picked up a black one staple i'll just wear that with so much stuff if you do go down to london for maybe a shopping day uh, maybe you're not from around there um i would 100 percent um recommend making the trip into the sloan square zara because honestly it, i preferred it to the oxford um the one on oxford street and yeah it was much more quiet everything was so tidy everything was just well spaced out it was just a very very nice experience today like i much preferred it and then um from h&m um because obviously it was more of a press um like a press office visit so obviously i've seen the new in stuff um they kindly gifted me the lovely um white well i'd say it's not white i'd say it's off-white 
um, you know, the beach set, so the beachy trousers, it feels so strange holding up like summery clothes right now, but like the beachy trousers and then the matching shirt, which is just going to be so nice in summer, so nice for holidays, just thrown over the top of a bikini, even just dressing it up. Imagine this with all like gold jewellery going out for dinner. Such a lovely set. So big thank you to H&M for kindly gifting me this. So at the moment, as I'm posting this, it's not available to shop. Um, as I said, everything that I saw today was future, what's, you know, what's going to be coming. But um, as soon as it is in stock, I'll be sure to let you guys know in one of these videos and pop a link to it because it's such a gorgeous set. Looks so expensive. I wonder if it has the price inside of how much this is going to be. Oh, yes, it does. Okay. So it has got like a press sample um, label on, on the inside, but it says the price is $24.99. So that will be the shirt. And then I wonder if it's got the bottoms, how much this will be when it comes out. $19.99. There you go. I did also pop into Arquette. Um, Arquette is a store that I have never ever shopped from um i didn't really have time to have a look properly for myself today but i am really tempted to just have a look online and maybe get myself a couple of bits because honestly the stuff in there was so nice i did actually pick up a couple of things for andy um just some bits that i knew that he'd like just as a little thank you for doing the dressing room for me um so he was very happy with the stuff i picked up for him but yeah i didn't really have time to look for myself to be honest a lot of the time if it's like a new store i like to go in i'll see what the quality's like and then i like to just sit on my laptop and just online shop do you know what i mean i've got time to judge everything i can have about 1500 tabs open that's just the way i like to shop but anyway that is everything that i got today so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this um, vlog of just coming with me for a little sort of shopping slash meeting trip to London. I'm going to be vlogging again this week, just a bit of my normal day-to-day -day stuff at home. So expect to see lots of puppy dog content. You've been... Did you see her tapping me then? She's like, Mum, I want to go to bed. You want to go to bed? You want to go to bed? But yeah, anyway, guys, I'm going to end this vlog here. So I really hope you enjoyed this and... As always, I will see you in the next one. Ready, blow kiss? Mwah. Ready? Mwah. Bye. <laughs> Is that good? Look at his fat belly. Oh, I knew you'd have to come round. Knew you'd have to come round. Should we go to bed? Come on then.